Mr. Heilman, how are you? Governor. You're a private citizen now. I feel weird calling you governor, although I guess you keep the honorific forever. I do keep the honorific I know. forever. It's fine. You've known Trump for how long? 16 years. And you still, to this day, like, like respect? Yeah, and, and, and was with him last week. Right. But let's start with the Bridgegate era. Yeah. I just want you to talk a little bit about getting hit with that scandal. It's sort of like what it was like to be Donald Trump, sure. the new president, and getting hit immediately with a bunch of crises yeah. that then consumed your administration, his administration. I've told him that many times. Have you? That, oh, yeah. That I think there's, it's very analogous. I can only speak for me. It was completely overwhelming. You're being followed everywhere and screamed at and yelled at with questions and charges and all this. And then the issue of continuing to run the government and not only keeping yourself focused, but keeping everybody else focused on the mission, which is not dealing with your crisis. It's hard. It's really hard. If you go back and look at the coverage back then, there must have been a dozen other allegations made against me or my administration during that period of time, all of which amounted to nothing. But every day they're like banner headlines because people smell blood and they want to come in for the kill. I knew the whole time I'd done nothing, yeah. but you can't get that out. Yeah. Right? And you have to wait for prosecutors to be done, yeah. and wait for legislative committees to be done, all that stuff. Right. And it's incredibly frustrating. That's what's happening to him. You know, I've told him many times, and I've said this publicly too, that when you're in the midst of something like this, there's nothing you can do to make it shorter. There's lots of things you can do to make it longer. Yeah. And I've continued to counsel him that, you know, talking about things publicly, whether it's, you know, a press conference or a speech or a tweet or whatever, just leads people to want to look more, not less. So you knew Mueller. Yes, worked uh, for him. Uh, worked with him. Worked with him. Yep. Um, tell me what it was like to work with him and what he was like. I just saw it as a, um, what's your assessment of him as a prosecutor and a person? Very tough, very direct, um, very driven. He's yeah. an aggressive guy. And, uh, you know, every time I dealt with him, an honest broker, like kind of, he would listen to you. We at times had some heated conversations when I disagreed with him or he disagreed with me, but they never ended badly. They always ended with a, a resolution of some kind. Right. And as I've said publicly before, like I trust Bob Mueller and I think that the way he's conducted this investigation, for the most part, thus far, shows that he's trustworthy. You have publicly said you think not a good idea for, for Trump to sit with Mueller. Absolutely not. Why is that? Well, I don't think that there's been enough evidence put forward that Mueller deserves an interview with the president. This is an extraordinary thing to get to interview a president of the United States. Um, and what's the evidence, you know, that the president did anything that implicates a criminal statute? Man, you better really have some stuff if you want to talk to a president of the United States. You just don't get a president in the chair across from you and go on a fishing expedition and see what you can get. Right. That's not permissible in my view. Right. Trump has allies in conservative media and on the Hill. I don't think anybody, again, even if I was being really generous, I don't think anybody would say, this has been like an exemplary, well-run White House. No, and li right? listen, I, I listen, mean, it's, no, it, it, no, it, it hasn't it, been. It's been a shit show. Well, right? It was, I think the first okay. six months were a shit show. Right, the yes. first six months were a shit show. Right. But this is, my, this is actually the question I'm getting better. to. You think, you think things have gotten better, that they're appreciably better on all of those fronts, even though there's no communications director still, even I though guess, they still have this leak problem? I, I don't think, look, there, I think there's a leak problem in every White House. I, I don't think that that's unique to this one. Okay. I think secondly, he's his own communications director. Donald Trump says, I want to get a message out, give me my phone. Right. And he tweets it out. As much crisis as there's been, there's, there's going to be a great, a more testing moment. Are they ready? I think they're more ready now than they were before. Are they ready? You don't know until it happens. Is the president ready? President's ready. President's ready president's for that ready. moment. He's ready. I, this guy's tested. And you don't get to become president and not be tested, John. 